Are you ready? Because we're going five pounds down every four weeks in 2022. And today is a fat burning walk with our lightest dumbbells. So grab yours and let's go. All right, killer bees, let's go ahead and get moving and groove and have your dumbbells completely out of the way. And let's get started with some arm circles. Oh my gosh, with high knees. It's almost like this is the very first thing I've done today because it is. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways ah, that feel like self-love. Do you know? Do you know what it feels like self-love. You guys, it's losing weight with the 5-0 method, where every day we do five things that make you say, oh, I had no idea that losing weight could be this fun or this easy. Every single day, we eat the right number of calories, which is not necessarily less than you were eating before. We drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds in fluid ounces of water. We get the right amount of sleep by going to bed at the same time every single night, getting up at the same time every single morning, and not worrying too much about what how much in between that was sleep. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. We also exercise moderately every single day with a workout. If not exactly like this one, then about the same intensity, about the same length, about the same duration, and it's not necessarily more than you were doing before. We also manage our mind by finding our thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. And today's helpful thought that I have for you <laughs> guys. I'm already laughing. Sorry. It's this is exactly right. And my fellow murderinos, I totally know that you heard that in Karen's voice. This is exactly right. <laughs> if you don't listen to the podcast, my favorite murder, that was just beyond you. But if you do, you know what I'm saying. It's a really helpful thought, right? Sometimes the way you know, let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes, is whether or not that thought makes you feel good. If you hear this is exactly right and your brain offers you, no, it's not, this is terrible, this isn't enough, or this is too much, or this is not okay, then that's not a helpful thought for you. However, for me, very often, I use it judiciously, let me just tell you that. I use it in situations where I know my brain won't offer me skepticism. I use it in situations where I want to simply remind myself that I know what I'm doing, and if I don't, because I always put a little corollary on there, this is exactly right, and if it's not, I'll figure it out. <laughs> you guys. Today's workout is exactly right. I've got the handy dandy gym boss set for intervals of 30 seconds. I've got three mini circuits for us that we're going to do two times each and we are going to get started with some walking. Grab your weights or not. You can always help yourself, my friends, to whatever kind of a challenge feels best for you. You know what's moderate for you. Your moderate is exactly right. <laughs> I kind of have to use that voice when I'm saying that. When you figure out what moderate is for you, it is moderate for you. I'm scooting over to the side because you guys, when it beeps, we're going to do a little push, push. We're just pushing to the side, pushing to the side, and then pushing to the other side, pushing to the other side. The thing about moderation, excuse me, I'm choking on this, push and push and push and push. The thing about moderation is that I can tell you all day long, well, much like I can tell you, hey, this is a helpful thought. If it's not helpful for you, it's not helpful. If this, that I'm saying, oh, this is a moderate workout, I'm moving moderately. If this isn't moderate for you, it's not moderate. You guys, when it beeps again, we're gonna do diving airplanes. We're gonna have our hands out to the side and we're going to dive one way and then the other while kicking up our opposite foot behind us, a little bit like a booty kicker. Diving down to one side and the other. The thing about this workout really specifically, having even your lightest weights in hand changes the movements, makes it a little bit harder. I'm moving a little bit slower than I would if this was just straight up cardio with empty hands. When it beeps again, we're doing papa squats, not father squats, but pop a squat. It's a tiny squat. We're going to squat ourselves down just a little tiny bit and then hands come up in the air. So just popping a squat and hands go up. Here's, here's what I'm noticing. I'm going to slow this one down too. The thing about being careful about moderation, moderating for myself means kind of constantly monitoring what I'm doing and deciding, how does this feel? Could I keep this up? When it beeps again, we're doing low swinging tappers. Hands are gonna swing from side to side. They're actually gonna get up pretty high. It's just that they're not going over your head. As we're doing that, we're tapping from side to side, doing some Robert Palmers down here with our feet. <laughs> 
and so winging our hands from side to side. I intentionally chose not very many overhead exercises so that this really is a good opportunity for you to pay attention to what exercises feel like they're really getting your heart rate up. Generally speaking, hands overhead means heart rate comes up. When it beeps again, we're doing cross back jacks, which means that we're stepping back like a curtsy jack, but you certainly don't have to come into a full curtsy. Hands are doing jumping jacks. So yes, hands overhead. Ah, you notice. That means I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit. This starts to almost look like strength work instead of cardio work. And that really is kind of the hallmark of these cardio toning workouts. We slow it down a little bit to make sure that we're moving at a pace that feels moderate the whole time. When it beeps again, this was our mini circuit, so we're coming right back to walking. All three of my mini circuits today start with walking, so I want you to know that when in doubt, you can always walk it out, especially if walking feels more moderate than whatever else we're doing. I'm scooting over to the side because coming up next is that push, push. The thing about moderate, the thing that took me forever to figure out about moderate is that it's not, what am I gonna say? It's not instinctual, maybe, for so many reasons. Push and push, push and push. The fact is, we are inundated literally every single day. I, I was on Facebook, well, I was on Facebook a lot, but I was on Facebook right before I started recording this video. And in my feed, now granted, to be fair, I have a lot of athletes in my feed. I know a lot of runners, I am a runner. When it beeps again, we're doing diving airplanes. I saw so many posts of people who were talking about, oh, I had a tough time, here we go with diving airplanes. I had a tough time recently on this run or this workout or this whatever, and I pushed through and I just kept going and I pushed harder and I feel so good now. And so many people cheering them on. We, as a society, encourage each other to push past moderate. We encourage each other to do more. We have this, this thing in our heads because lots of people have said it to us over the years when it beeps again, we're doing Papa squats, that we have to move more and eat less if we wanna lose weight. Or even, truly, not even, not even for weight loss, but just for general health, we have to push. No pain, no gain, right? You guys, not right. Not right at this age at all. In fact, pushing more, pushing harder, pushing through, pushing, other than our push-push <laughs> exercise when it beeps again. We're doing low swinging tappers. But continuing to push past moderate, even though you will get lots of likes on Facebook for it. Here we go, low swinging tappers. You will feel like, oh, thank goodness, I pushed myself. That was great. Your body, however, will have a different opinion. Very frequently, it took me, it's still taking me. I'm not even gonna pretend like I have this all figured out. I am still working on finding my moderate from day to day because honestly, it changes from day to day. My energy level is not steady. Therefore, here we go with crossback jacks, our last one in this particular mini circuit. So when it beeps again, we're gonna start with walking for our second mini circuit. My energy changes, which means that my moderate changes. I don't have some, oh, when my heart rate is this, or when I'm doing this particular thing, or when I exercise for this amount of time, there is nothing that I can point to that I can say, this is a fixed place in space and time that will always, here we come to walking, that will always be moderate for me. Moderation, moderating, being moderate, takes attention every single time, every day. I know that might not sound like really good news, but I promise you it is because part of, part of being able to lose weight, by the way, when it beeps again, we're doing walking starts. So on one hand goes up while we step forward, the other hand goes up while we step forward with that other foot, and then we come back. So forward, forward, back, and back. Change your leader foot. <laughs> And if you can't, don't worry about it. You guys, here's the thing. Don't just push through. Don't try and do something harder. Do whatever your body can do that feels moderate. Sometimes, honestly, sometimes the mental energy that we expend trying to figure out what am I doing? How is my body doing this? Makes it not moderate. When it beeps again, we're doing big arm side shuffles. I'm gonna see if I can subtly, nope, I did the same thing on the same side. <laughs> 
see like that big arm side shuffles I was trying to give myself a little bit of space here and then I couldn't figure out my leader legs oh my gosh here comes Blossom come on over sweetheart I was wondering if she was gonna come out oh great now she's gonna go sit by the door and it is way too early in my workout to be able to go let her outside you guys when it beeps again we're doing ding dongs hands going from side to side just kind of like we were for those low swinging side or those low swinging tappers but this time we're actually kicking out to the side so here we go ding and dong <laughs> like weebles who wobble but don't fall down <laughs> My friends, the thing about being moderate, the thing about being intentional, paying attention can actually help you get better weight loss results. It can actually help you get better any kind of results. I was going to say fitness results, mental acuity results, <laughs> balance results, literally every kind of result you want comes from attention. Here we go with forward hinge arm flappers. Whew, hands are doing jumping jacks. Lower body is doing essentially a deadlift. <laughs> you're pushing your booty back. You're pulling your booty forward. This one with our hands coming up overhead. Oh, you feel that heart rate's coming up. Slow it down if you need to. That's completely okay. When it beeps again, we're doing booty kicker elbow swings. The thing about paying attention my friends, is that when you are paying attention, when you are giving your work, here you go, booty kicker, elbow swings, ah, hands down a little bit, helps a little bit. This was our second mini circuit when it beeps again. We're going to come back to that walking interval and do all of these exercises one more time. When you pay attention and give your exactly right for today effort and keep it moderate and really think about what feels moderate. Like, do I need to drop my weights? Here we come to walking. Do I need to slow it down? Could I speed it up? What could I do at this pace, at this intensity, with these weights in this way? And for how long could I do that? And when I'm done, could I do this exact workout exactly like this tomorrow? When you start taking the longer view look at it, by the way, when it beeps again, we're doing those walking stars and I'm gonna actually just start over here a little bit to the side because I know that coming up after this is those big arm side shuffles and I apparently cannot walk sideways <laughs> while we are doing this. Hi, sweetheart, do you wanna come sit on your chair? Come on over. Yeah, that's right, step exactly underneath my feet. Oh, Blossom, that is such a smart thing to do. I love it. <laughs> You guys, when it beeps again, we're doing big arm side shuffles. Apparently, apparently my finisher today is probably going to be cleaning up a mess. Because <laughs> she is definitely asking for some attention. Here we go with big arm side shuffles. Ah, elderly pets. They have needs. Much like, I've, I've come to the conclusion <laughs> that elderly pets are a lot like having like pup puppies or kittens. They need that level of attention and their, their ability to wait for things is about that short. You guys, when it beeps again, we're doing ding-dongs. We are also still paying attention <laughs> because even though, even though life is distracting, here we go with those ding-dongs, even though life is distracting, even though my elderly pets are distracting, even though I have other things on my mind while we're doing this workout, me paying attention to what I am doing, working with intention means that I can get better results because, because I won't accidentally do too much. I was going to say or too little, but the fact is you can lose weight without exercising at all. Here we go with forward hinge arm flappers. And I know that that, <laughs> that little factoid is probably shocking for lots of you. We think that exercise is like the way to lose weight. It's why we have to work harder, do more, push through, no pain, no gain. But my friends, my friends, it is literally always true that you can lose weight without exercising, but at our age, really specifically, when it beeps again, we're doing those booty kicker elbow swings for the second and final time. At our age, even worse than doing too much won't necessarily help you lose weight, it can actually make you gain weight. When you go past your moderate, and not only your moderate, but your today's moderate. If your energy level today is such that your body is like, hey, could you please drop those weights? Hey, could you please go a little slower? Hey, you know what? This is a little much for me. 
when you listen to those body signals, here we come, to walking for our third and final mini circuit. After this, okay, I'm already gonna start thinking about this. We're doing wide open side kicks, which means that our elbows are gonna be up at shoulder height, and we're gonna be opening out our hands nice and wide while kicking to the side, one side at a time. The thing about pushing past moderate is that your body just doesn't recover from that the way it used to. And that's not like an old age thing. I mean, it kind of is. But really specifically for women, it's actually a dwindling or complete lack of estrogen thing. Estrogen helps your muscles recover, or helped your muscles recover all those years. This time of our lives, we need to exercise differently. It's why I tell you moderately all the time. I mean, moderately is actually really good for literally everybody. I have worked with my, my most <laughs> outside my norm <laughs> client, by the way, when it beeps again, we're doing triceps curl downs. So we're gonna curl down while we tap out. I worked with a young man who's a friend of mine. He was actually, he was actually my, one of my first clients' sons. So my first client, she was a couple years older than me. So she was already in her 50s when I was in my like mid to late 40s, working with her and you know trying to figure out like, what does she need? How are we gonna get her where she wants to go? By the way, when it beeps again, we're doing skiers. And so that's when I actually first started developing this moderate workout every day kind of a theory. So here we go with skiers. I gotta think about this. <laughs> oh my gosh, my feet did not want to do skiers. They were really trying to kick forward. You guys, when in doubt, <laughs> if your brain <laughs> needs a little moderating, <laughs> Don't worry about what your feet are doing. You could come back to walking. You could do a weird, awkward half skier, half not skier thing. You help yourself. Don't always follow me. <laughs> One of you is again, we're doing front push heel digs. It's exactly what it sounds like. We're pushing to the front while we're doing one heel dig at a time. Palms are facing each other. I know you feel that work in your arms and up into your shoulders. Help yourself for a pace and a, like a distance. If you can't push out all the way, if you wanna just push a little bit of the way, totally okay with me, my friends. When it beeps again, we're doing dancing X's. It is the final exercise in this mini circuit. Hands are gonna be up and out nice and wide. Feet out nice and wide, crunching in the middle. We're making that big letter X and then dancing them down into the middle. This is the end of this mini circuit. So when it beeps again, we're coming back to walking. So when I worked with him, he was, he was originally working on running, well, I think he wanted to run a half marathon first. Eventually we worked on literally everything. We worked on half marathon distance. We worked on ultra marathon distance. We finally worked on weight loss, which was very interesting because, here we come back to walking, because he knew that in order to run better, he needed to get a little bit lighter. So when we were working on weight loss, I had him come down to completely moderate workouts every single day, taking it way, way, way down. I mean, way down for him. He had been you know, exercising at this level way up here and we came way down here. And as soon as he started doing that and eating the right number of calories every day, boom, he lost weight as we do. Here we go with wide open side kicks for the second and final time. The thing is moderation as a weight loss method always works for every person of every gender, every age, every everything. And it's because exercise is not the driver of weight loss. If you are eating the right number of calories, and by right, I mean if you are exercising moderately every day, then it's going to include probably you know, like 100 or 200 calories that you wouldn't include, here we go with triceps curl downs, if you were not exercising at all. Generally speaking, we burn, like somewhere probably between 100 to 200 calories when we work out together, 23 minutes, more or less. Some workouts more, some workouts less. Totally, totally depends on so many factors. You guys, it's why I try, don't even try and tell you. It depends on a lot of factors, and I'm already gonna think about skiers are coming next. It depends on a lot of factors, and it's simply completely unreliable. The fact is, you don't know. Here we go with skiers. So, hands are going up and down in front of you. Feet shuffling back and forth underneath you. <laughs> For whatever reason, this feels super awkward today. I wonder if I'm actually doing it wrong. It feels weird. <laughs> I don't know why. What it beeps again, thank goodness, we're gonna do something else. We're gonna do those front push heel digs. This is why I like a, like a repeating no repeat 
only have to do this particular exercise twice today, and thank goodness, because it just feels weird. I don't know why that happens sometimes, but you know what? I made it through, I pushed through. <laughs> no, I laughed my way through. <laughs> Here's the thing, my friends. Don't rely on burning calories to lose weight. It is the most unreliable and really, really inefficient. When you eat the right number of calories, taking in the right amount of energy, it doesn't matter how much you're burning. When it beeps again, hey, we're doing dancing X's for the second and final time, which means after this, we are done. Oh, you know we're not quite finished. You know. And it beeps again. I'm going to have us work on a little bit of balance. We are going to do super slow sprinters. And I like to think about that. We are crossing our body, reaching our elbow towards our knee, and then extending out. I'm going to be all on my left foot the entire first interval, which means I'm standing on my left foot. So elbow to knee, and then extend out. Oh my gosh. Super duper, super slow. Who doggies, which always feels so weird after we've been doing cardio, but it also feels real nice. Make sure that your standing leg, your knee is soft but strong. You've unclenched your toes. You've brought that work all the way up into your glute, into your abs. When it beeps again, we're gonna do this exact same thing, super slow, sprinters on the other side. Awesome job. Elbow to knee, and then, oh, wow, full extension. You guys, I am shaky <laughs> on this balance work today. I can't even look up. Sometimes that happens. Help yourself to hanging on to something. Help yourself to keeping this a tiny, tiny motion. You do whatever feels moderate and doable for you. Because doing too much, <sighs> Doing too much is not exactly right. <laughs> Go ahead and put those weights down. That was fantastic. You did an amazing job. <sighs> and let's cool this off. Let's go ahead and do some arm circles. <sighs> that really was exactly right. You know, here's the thing. Here's the thing about moderating. Here's the thing about paying attention while we are working out. It really does feel exactly right. Now. You might have some monkey chatter in your head. <laughs> I frequently do. It's why it's taking me so long to figure out this moderation thing. My brain still offers me really almost every single day. You could do more. Yeah, I could. I absolutely could. But it wouldn't get me where I want to go. That's the problem, my friends. You can do more. Absolutely. 100%. You might even feel amazing while you're doing it. It's afterwards. It's tomorrow, it's the next day, it's the third day. It's the scale creeping up because you're doing too much. When you do a workout like this, when you moderate for yourself, it's exactly right. Let's go ahead and open it up. Ah, that feels so good. And then my favorite part, we're gonna give ourselves a hug and a pat on our sweaty back because, oh my goodness, that was sweaty. <laughs> I love that sweaty feeling though. It does feel exactly right to me, my friends. When your brain tries to offer you an unhelpful thought, offer it something in return. This was exactly right. And the corollary, if it wasn't, I'll figure it out. If this was too much, I'll notice. If it was too little, it's never too little. Truly, it, it's never too little. I, I cannot emphasize that enough. This was exactly right. You guys, thank you so much. Today was day one of this five-day series. I'm so excited. I got four more coming for you. And in four more weeks, I got five more coming after that. And then four more weeks, I got five more coming after that all year long. We're going five pounds down every four weeks. And on one side of the screen here, I actually have the video that explains all about that. And on the other side, I've got an extended cool down. Thank you so much for working out with me. Make sure you subscribe before you go and I'll see you tomorrow.